on guys, it's GrowerMD and I'm just going to make a quick video here to kind of talk to you guys a, bit, a little bit about um, my feeding schedule for X Nutrients. Um, now as you guys know, you guys can get that schedule off of the, uh, the website and the website actually does a really good job of helping you capture costs and giving you a pretty good estimation of what you're basically sending in your reservoir every week and uh, what it would cost to run a cycle. Um, I like to take things a little bit further, so what I did was kind of converted their, um, you know, their online spread calculator here into an Excel spreadsheet and broke it down basically the same exact way. Now, what I did is made all of these tables that are in the spreadsheet here linked together. So, what you want to first do is set what you like your application rates to be. Um, for the most part, I would say that their general calculator online is really close to what I would prefer. I think any variation you make, I would run on the second or third run once you kind of know what strains you're working with, unless you happen to be very familiar with your strain going into it. Um, so anyway, you set all of your application rates here on, on milliliters per gallon, what you'd like. And then when you come down here to the second um, table, you enter in your reservoir size and for me it's a 55 gallon reservoir but if I were to enter in a 25 gallon it automatically updates for you so um, makes it pretty easy and it'll also um, update you know with whatever information's up here so um, what this second table down here does is tell you how many total milliliters of um, are going into your reservoir at the end of every single week and then it also tells you how many total milliliters you're going to use of each of the individual nutrients. And what you can do is use this right here to determine, based on your reservoir size, how what size bottles you'll need to buy. So when you come down here, this chart just breaks down each of the um, different additives and how much each size bottle costs. And uh, then this table is the same exact thing except broken down by how much it costs per milliliter based on the size bottle. Because as you know, you buy bigger bottles, you get a better price. So this can also help you gauge um, you know, what size bottles you want to buy. Now you can take and compare these numbers per nutrient to their sizes that they offer in each, um, in each nutrient and determine what size bottle you want to buy. And here is basically where you can plug in what sizes you're going to buy for each one. And then um, these are all in my particular case. And then it tells you what the initial cost or the initial investment in nutrients, nutrients is to get through an entire cycle. So you can see that their line is really competitively priced. I mean, $362, that's enough for me to do a 55 gallon reservoir, 10 weeks of flour and three weeks of veg. Um, so it's actually um, really nice and then what I did is just took it a little bit step further and basically broke it down to where it tells you um, how much money each additive is going into your reservoir every week and how much money you're putting into your reservoir at the end of every week. So in the end I have to spend $362 to get the grow started but I'm actually only throwing less than $200 worth of nutrients into my reservoir. So. That just kind of breaks it down for you. Um, the only thing that you guys could do if you want to take a little bit step further to make the spreadsheet all encompassing is uh, you can kind of write an if statement, which would tell you that if you know this number here is less than you know one of these numbers here, then it can automatically plug in what size bottle you want to buy. And uh, by the way, all of my prices and stuff are set down here are based on the size of bottles that I happen to be buying, which is why I'm mentioning this to you. You can make it so that um, if you want to write the formulas, that anytime it, it'll automatically detect what size bottle you need, and then it can input that over here so that regardless of what size reservoir you have and what your application rates are, it'll automatically tell you how much you need to buy and how much it'll cost and how much you're spending per week and per reservoir per nutrient additive. So this is uh, something that I kind of like to do before I get a grow started to help give me an idea of what I'm going to be um, spending. It makes planning a lot easier. It also helps keep, uh, keep you less surprised on what you're going to be spending throughout the course of a three-month period on nutrients so you can plan for those types of things ahead of time. So 
Again, this is just something I like to do. You guys could also expand on this and add in other nutrient additives, but this particular spreadsheet here is only for um, the X nutrients. And for those of you guys that asked before um, about my previous one that I was using, I actually uh, had a hard drive crash, and that's why I never really made it available to anyone because unfortunately I lost the file. So I may end up recreating one here in the future and I'll post that for you. But the link is going to be in the info. Um, it's posted on Google Documents. So if you guys want to have a have at it, take a look and download it, uh, feel free. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, see you next time.